Ciao guys, Tarvud here. So I decided to make this video because many of you, many of us, has the same problem is that we want to connect the Oculus Rift S also with our laptop. And well, you might know that with the Rift S we have a problem that Oculus decided to put a display port at the end of a cable and the adapter that they're providing is the mini display port adapter that, to be very honest, how many of the new gaming laptops are coming with that? Well, not many. So I decided to try some adapters for you for USB Type-C and HDMI. So let's see together if we can use actually our Rift S, so many stuff on my head, or our RTX graphic card using a different port that is not a display port. And I have some good news and I have some bad news as well. Okay, so let's start explaining the systems that I'm using to test, of course, these cables with the Rift S, because of course your mileage may vary, and so you know if you have a different system or if you have a similar system, it's gonna work or not. So first of all, my desktop is an Alienware, but I changed the graphic card over there. It's a 2080 Ti from EVGA. So over there, there's also a virtual link adapter at the end that is like a Type-C. And also on my laptop over here, that is an Asus ROG Zephyrus with the 1080 Max-Q. Well, over there, we also have a Thunderbolt 3 port. So uh, that's why I grabbed these two different for Type-C adapter from DisplayPort. And I have to say, I'm gonna say uh, right away, the good news first, they both work very well. So uh, the signal goes there at 80 Hertz without any problem in both cases. So using the virtual link connection and using the just the Thunderbolt 3 connection. So if you have those different things, you know that it's gonna work. And I tried this for one from Cable Matters and one from Cable Creation. I have to say that it really depends on you which one you wanna pick. I prefer this one, it's cheaper, it's around $8.99, so it's nothing very expensive and it's very, very small. But if you have the USB port very close to the Type-C, uh, well, probably this one is gonna take more space and probably it's better to go for this one where you have a little more cable length and so you can insert it without any problem. It's really up to you. Uh, this one is a little more expensive, but they both work without any problem. And now, of course, we have to go to the bad news. I told you that this video wasn't going to be super long. And well, it's about the HDMI adapter. Now, uh, the thing about the HDMI adapter from uh, DisplayPort is that or they are very, very expensive, like over $100, to have actually all the video capabilities that the HDMI has, or you find these around $40, that is already a lot of money if you think that it's just an adapter, and unfortunately, they don't work. Now, I tried everything with this one. I tried with the desktop, I tried with the laptop, I tried connecting the USB directly to the PC because uh, the USB port over here, the USB cable will boost a little the video capabilities, uh, the power that they go through the HDMI and the display ports. But putting that in the computer, on the other part, on the USB 3.0, 2.0, or also in a little power brick like the one for a phone, didn't work at all. The weird thing is that Oculus were recognizing actually the headset, but nothing was showing up. Everything was just blank and uh, dark and you weren't able to use it at all. Not even the audio was going through. Instead with the other, also the audio was going through without any problem. So yeah, uh, this is the bad news, is that if you have a laptop just with the HDMI, well, you're not gonna be able to use it. And that's such a weird thing that, from Oculus, because the Rift S is actually made to be super easy for everybody to come in and try VR for the first time and not having the hassle of all these sensors to put around and stuff like that. But the problem is like most of the PC, uh, entry-level PC, entry-level laptops, gaming laptops, they use still HDMI and not really DisplayPort. So they're really close to many people over there. Now, if you have a Type-C Thunderbolt 3, well, that is gonna work and we know that it's not even super expensive, so it's not a problem, but be aware on the other situation. Anyway, guys, all the links are gonna be in the description below, so you're gonna be able to grab there without any problem. I really suggest a small one, it's like super cheap and it really works perfectly, uh, but 
that's really up to you that's really up to the system that you have at the same time i'm gonna tell you that the review is gonna arrive very very soon so we're gonna go through different stuff and also i'm gonna test some extension cable that it didn't arrive yet so it's arriving like in these days so i'm gonna be able to give you the feedback on those as well because i think that it's very important to have a little more cable land to really use the inside out tracking and the really room scale capabilities of this guy over here but anyway guys we're getting a little too long as always if you like the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe to the channel for more about vr tech and of course more about all the vr headsets coming and all the reviews about the vr headset that we have we have the giveaway still on so be sure to check the description below for that too because there's not many days left if you want to get an oculus quest well it's time to do that and yeah i see you guys next video everything in the link below everything in the description below thanks for watching ciao